Hey guys, Steve here, SAMTB. Day two of Outer Bike here in Moab. It has been just spectacular and today. I have the Specialized Levo SL. This is kind of a special bike, for me anyway. I rode it in Scotland about six weeks ago and I got thrashed on it. The weather it poured rain like a week, the day before, like for a full day, like 24 hours. And that very morning it stopped raining. Trails were just sloshed. So I, I got to ride the bike, but um, I kept wanting to ride more, but I just kept getting, uh, having a pretty tough go of it. So I wanted to get out here today on this bike and give it really a fair chance. Um, so this is a, this is a Specialized Levo SL. It has a 160 mil fork in the front and 150 mil shock in the rear. I'm on a medium. I am uh, 5'10" and it fits really really well. I rode the same almost identical bike in Scotland and um, one of the things I like about this is you still kind of feel the ground on it. It's about a pound heavier than my Ibis Ripmo AF aluminum. Um, they will they'll vary a little bit based on the specs on this bike. Um, the fork on this is a a Fox Rhythm, but you can go all the way up to a Fox Performance Elite on this particular bike, and that would probably bring it in at around 10 grand, maybe a little bit more. I think this one spec out here is closer to like seven, maybe seven or eight. Um, it's got the GX setup on it, um, on it for your derailleur, and you have code brakes um, from SRAM as well up on here. It felt really, really good on the trails. Um, I do wish that uh, we had a little bit more access for e-bikes in Moab, but evidently that's that's just not the case here. So there's some trails I got on. I did get, I got a little bit of footage here. So there were a couple of nice little sections I kind of sessioned a couple of times to give a little bit of a better feel of what this bike would really feel like. Yesterday I was out in um, on a Captain Ahab and another trail. I can't remember the name. I'll put it here because I keep forgetting the name of it. I want to say it was like Alsom or something like that, but that is a burly, nasty trail. Uh, a lot of fun, but just like for real. So um, I didn't have a chance to write anything like that today, but there was a couple of sections. So I did get the opportunity to kind of session those to get a really good feel of what this bike does on those types of trails. And, I, and I'll tell you, it kind of just blows through them. Um, you've got three modes on this bike. You've got Eco, Trail, and Turbo. And um, I did throw it in Turbo for a, a minute or two up there. I did that in Scotland too for a couple minutes. It's so much power. Um, it's so much fun, but uh, I guess if you're on a super, super long ride, this bike will go for five hours. Take two. This bike will run for about five hours. So um, most of the riding I did, I was either in either eco or trail mode. When I was on the climbs, I mostly was in eco, to be honest. Um, but if you're getting towards the end of the day, you feel a little tired. Trail, trail feels pretty good too. Uh, anytime you're on the trails, it's best to keep it in trail. When you stop pedaling, the bike has a slight lag if you're just in eco. But when you're in trail, it kind of keeps moving a little bit, keeps floating a little bit. So my experience was keep it in trail for pretty much your whole ride. If you're just getting out, maybe hit the eco, but that would be just a, just a little bit of a suggestion there. Right, so we're gonna give you guys a little bit of a close up on some of the features on this bike here. Um, so again, this is the Specialized Levo SL. Uh, and there is two other that, that you don't want to get confused with. There's just a Levo, not the SL. And then there's a Canivo, Canivo, and they're different bikes. Um, all different travels, different powers. This is sort of, to me, the best of all the bikes that they make in an E version. It's my personal opinion. Um, and to be fair, I haven't been on the Canivo yet. Um, I might tr get on that this afternoon, actually, but I can't make any guarantees. But uh, but anyway, let's take a look at this here. Kind of just get you some close-ups on some of the features here. I'm going to start up in the front here. And uh, you don't want to see me anyway, right? So we got Code R RS brakes. I'll tell you, they felt really good. They actually were a little noisy, which I was a little surprised. Um, but they feel really good. I like Ceram, and I like... Uh, Shimano brakes. Some folks really have to have one or the other. I mean, I think they're both great brakes, but um, the RS are great. I think this is the exact same setup I had when I was in Scotland, so it kind of was nice to have a little familiarity with the bike when I got on it. Brakes feel really good. You've got a GX setup here. Um, 
and uh, so you know it's nice and snappy feels really good especially since i've been running the uh gx x uh with the electronic clicker i was curious to see how it was going to be but it's super smooth super easy um cutting up here we've got our our fox this is the rhythm again this bike configuration can go up to the fox performance elite i think or ultimate one of those so again check <laughs> just check um got lots of you got your upper you know adjustments and of course you got your you got your lower micro adjustments down below uh we're on specialized wheels and we got the butchers going today here which is that's their standard that's what comes on this bike so if you like them great if you don't well that's what you're gonna get so um dropper over here uh we're on a manic fusion manic um felt great it's good it's a good dropper you know i don't get that excited about droppers i'm just excited i have a dropper we got fox float in the back it's 150 mil and uh really smooth they got it dialed in really well um given my weight i'm about 190 195 with all my gear and stuff and um just smooth as silk and uh and here's kind of a close-up just a quick as you can imagine these demo bikes take some take some abuse sometimes but this one actually doesn't look bad we got our eagle gear in the back yeah baby and there we go there's our bike so that's it folks uh, day two starting out really good here. What an awesome place, man. It's just beautiful um, Check it out uh, Specialized I'll leave a link below if you like this video, please click that like button and I'd love for you to subscribe I've got a whole host of new reviews coming out a bunch of gear and stuff But uh, we're gonna be doing a bunch of demos around here on the bikes in Moab. Had on a bike I'll see you guys soon. You guys have a great day